I'd like to ask you to give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of Wrecked Ralph, and join the notification squad by hitting the subscribe button. Also comment down below when you do so, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Disney's Wreck-It Ralph might not have been a typical video game movie, but the story of a video game villain who wants to be a hero and embarks on a journey out to fulfill his dream, bringing chaos to the whole arcade where he lives became a huge hit with the critics. It was therefore hardly surprising when Disney announced that there would be a sequel to the heartfelt film about Ralph and his adventures and six years after the original movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet will finally be released at the end of November later this year. While the release date is still a few months away, we took a closer look at the trailer for Wrecked Ralph 2 and found 10 hidden details and hints that you might have missed. In the anticipated sequel of Wrecked Ralph, Ralph and Vanellope, who are now friends, discover a Wi Fi router in the Litwalk Arcade and go on a journey to the colorful and busy world of the internet. In the trailer, we only get to see a glimpse of how Disney depicts the internet, but it appears to be a giant hub that reminds of New York City, with specific districts for each category such as social media, and we also see that, from Cisco to Amazon, the most popular sites are all there, although some have been given a somewhat anthropomorphic touch. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to guess what you're gonna say. My autofill is a touch aggressive today. Let me try. For example, Twitter consists of a few trees with birds chirping about grumpy cats, and the search engine is a man called Knows More, whose autofill habits are pretty annoying. You might have noticed that Knows More's voice sounds familiar, especially in the Wreck-It Ralph world, and that is because it is Alan Tudyk who is letting the voice through the search engine. The actor has become one of Disney's most popular voice actors, starting with Wreck-It Ralph as King Candy, and maybe the fact that the two share a voice shouldn't be disregarded. In addition to Tudyk, there are also several other voice actors returning, but there will also be a new addition to the cast with Empire actress Taraji P. Henson, who will voice the new major character Yes, a living algorithm for a trending site called BuzzTube, and a digital trendsetter. There is one scene in the trailer that shows all Disney princesses, a scene that was already hinted at during the 2017 D23 Expo, and we now know that all the living voice actresses are back to bring their characters into the 21st century. As we can see in the trailer that the princesses are a lot less sweet than we would have thought, although it is hardly surprising considering all the crazy things they have experienced in their movies. When Vanellope arrives, they threaten her with their various iconic items. Jasmine has the genie's lamp, while Cinderella breaks and then wields her glass slipper. <gasps> Hi. <gasps> whoa, whoa, ladies, I'm a princess too. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, do you have magic hair? No. Pocahontas is holding her staff, and you can even see the colors of the wind behind it. Moana is willing her oar, and Meredith's bow is drawn, while Belle is holding a book and Tiana is pulling Aurora back so she doesn't pierce herself on the spinning wheel. Apart from their items, the princesses have also brought their animal sidekicks and friends, as we see Raja from Aladdin and Miko from Pocahontas for instance. Apart from many Disney characters we already got to see in the trailer, we also see how many popular properties actually belong to Disney these days. As Ralph and Vanellope head to Oh My Disney, which is something like the BuzzFeed of Disney, we see that there is The Muppet Show, Star Wars, Disney Animation, Marvel and Pixar. And this shot is also chock full of easter eggs. After we already see Eeyore from Winnie Pooh and Iron Man a moment later, we now get to see a lot of familiar faces and items such as Kermit, Luxo Jr., Fantasia's Mickey, Dumbo, Arlo from The Good Dinosaur, Woody and Buzz, an R2-D2 statue, the Millennium Falcon, the Death Star, Captain Hook's ship, Thor's hammer, Iron Man's repulsor gauntlet, the house from Up, Lilo and her sister, and come classic Disney movie posters from Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella and more under the Disney Animation logo. In addition to all that, it looks like the stormtroopers from Star Wars are working as security at Oh My Disney, and from what we already see in the trailer, it seems like we will get to see more or less everything Disney owns in the movie when it hits the theaters in November later this year. Aside from all the easter eggs we just mentioned, there are also quite a few video game easter eggs just like in the first Wreck-It Ralph movie. Back in Mr. Litwalk's arcade, we can spot Dance Revolution X2, Street Fighter 2, Battlezone, Pac-Man, Frogger, Virtua Cop, Space Invaders, and of course, the fake game from the original movie, Fix-It Felix Jr. But there is also another nod to Star Wars in the arcade. 
If you pay attention to the background in Mr. Litwalk's office, you will notice a couple of decorative plates on the shelf that show the beloved little Green Jedi Master Yoda and Han Solo Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca. More hat tips to various Disney movies can be found when Ralph and Vanellope go to eBay. If you take a closer look at the items that are on sale in the background, while Ralph and Vanellope stare at the black velvet painting of a sorrowful kitten, there is a magic lamp that looks exactly like the one that disappears in the 1992 animated musical Aladdin, which will get a live-action remake with Will Smith playing the role of Genie, and is scheduled to be released next year. In addition to that, we can also see a cast iron frying pan on sale that looks just like the one from Disney's animated adventure film Tangled. While the eBay listing only mentions that the pan is perfect for everything from frying chicken to grilling a tortilla, everyone who has seen the movie knows that the pan can also be used as a very effective weapon as Rapunzel, Flynn and even the Royal Guard all demonstrated in Tangled. We already mentioned the fake game Fixit Felix Jr. that we all know from the first Wreck-It Ralph film, but that is not the only nod to the original movie. If you pay attention when the arcade owner in Mr. Litwalk uses his computer, you may notice that there is also a reference to the first movie on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Saved on the desktop is a document called Letter to Nana, and some of you may remember that Mr. Litwalk mentioned her senile Nana several times throughout the first movie, so it seems like she is still alive and kicking six years later. One of the best and worst moments in the trailer comes when Ralph and Vanellope enter the milkshake pancake game, where Ralph feeds the bunny so many pancakes that it explodes. This seems like a first taste of Ralph doing what the movie title says, break the internet, and the little girl who is playing the milkshake pancake game while sitting in the back of a car is probably traumatized by the explosion Ralph caused. If you keep up with all Disney movies, you will have noticed that she looked pretty much exactly like the baby Moana from the popular Disney movie from 2016. As we already mentioned, we also get to see the older Moana with all the other Disney princesses, but this toddler version might be a way of including a Moana easter egg to return the favor of including a Wreck-It Ralph easter egg in Moana, and who doesn't love to see the adorable baby Moana once again? Since Ralph and Vanellope venture into the internet in the upcoming movie, it should hardly come as a surprise that there will be a whole lot of pop culture references and online jokes in Ralph Breaks the Internet. In the trailer we already got to see a few of them, such as fake prize cams and clickbait articles, and although there are quite a few former child stars who have ended up in jail, one has to wonder if this reference could be a jab at Lindsay Lohan, who had quite a lot of trouble with the law over the years and also went to prison. Congratulations, you! Really? These 10 child stars went to prison. Oh. Number 6 will amaze you. That sounds As a child and teenager, the actress starred in popular Disney films such as The Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, and some of the studio's TV productions before she got into more and more trouble. Last year on in Instagram, Lohan suggested that she should star as Ariel in the live-action version of Disney's The Little Mermaid, so this could be a small sideswipe at the former child star. In addition to the pop culture references, we can probably also expect a few suitable adult jokes in the movie since Ralph and Vanellope are exploring the World Wide Web after all. In the Internet Reception Hall, for instance, there is an IP address lookup area with signs pointing to the things such as unzip services and browser history clearance, which might simply be for unzipping files and deleting all the data that accumulates when you search the internet, but knowing the folks at Disney, it is probably safe to assume that the signs are also alluding to something else. From the trailer we don't learn too much about what is going on in Mr. Litwalk's arcade, but from the very empty parking lot we see, and the lack of light inside the arcade, as well as the pretty much empty Game Central station, we can probably assume that the arcade doesn't have too many visitors these days. The reason for the loss of business might be the strong online competition, and the synopsis of the movie reveals that Ralph and Vanellope have gone online in order to save her game Sugar Rush. One small detail that you might have missed during the shot of the parking lot in front of the arcade is the message in the message board outside. Shouldn't it be Ralph wrecks the internet? Yeah, since he is Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, yeah, but break the internet, it's like a thing. Right, it's just wreck the internet kind of sounds better, doesn't it? While in the first movie there was a message congratulating Susie on her 5th birthday, 6 years later the board now reads, Happy 11th birthday Susie, which is a nice little detail and the reason why everyone loves Disney movies so much. Hey thanks for checking out this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to always stay on top of our daily uploads. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.